This is Craig Haugard with your Financial Issues Ag update for March 1st. Well, Friday saw the corn market trade lower on lack of fresh supportive news. And adding pressure to the market was a sell-off in China's Dalian's futures market. The sell-off was driven by stories of new African swine fever outbreaks in the nation of China. In South American news, Brazil's corn planting proceeded at a normal pace last week, but they're still running 30% behind the seasonal norms. In soybeans, the sell-off in China's Dalian soybean futures leaked over into our market on Friday. The Dalian market was hit hard as it fell the equivalent of 47 cents per bushel, while the U.S. market dropped 30 cents in the late part of the night session. However, as our day session wore on, Chicago futures rallied back. In fact, they just closed a few cents lower for the day. The recovery from the early session sell-off was driven by delays in the Brazilian harvest, where 26% of the bean crop has been harvested, which is well below the 43% that's normally harvested by this date. With rain still in the forecast, covering much of the area that has yet to be harvested, the situation in Brazil could still uh, lend some bullish legs to this market. Wheat was hit fairly hard on Friday, with much of the negative news coming from overseas. The Russian statistical agency reported that they produced 85.8 million metric tons of wheat in 2020. That's half a million more than the USDA has been forecasting. It should also be noted that the weather seems to be cooperating with production in Russia for now. That's the case in France as well, where the French soft wheat ratings improved by 1% last week to a rating of 87% good to excellent. Now, it's 23% better than what that crop was rated a year ago at this point. The net result is we saw a lot of selling pressure hit the wheat market, with funds selling 10,000 contracts of Chicago futures on Friday. Cotton futures saw their sell-off extend for a second day. At the close, the May futures were 86 points lower as they settled at 88.83. Livestock futures got butchered on Friday. At the close, April live cattle were $1.67.5 lower, while April feeder cattle were $2.50 lower at the closing bell. Lean hog futures had a rough outing as well, with the April futures finishing $2.60 lower. Class 3 mill futures struggled heading into the weekend. At the close, the March futures were 34 points lower as they settled at 16.22. Meat cutout values were mixed to end the day on Friday. Choice box beef was 14 cents higher, closing at 240.53. Select boxes were up 94 cents as they settled at 229.73. Pork carcass cutout values finished $1.29 lower, closing at $93.94 per hundredweight. This has been Craig Haugard with your Financial Issues Ag Update. We'll be right back with more financial issues after this.